Hello guys, and today I'm going to be presenting to you a detailed tutorial on how to win bets on CSGO Lounge. Now before I get into this, I want to say that this video might be quite long, so I will leave parts in the description that you can skip to. Okay, so the first tip that I'm going to be giving you is patience. If you want to be a successful CSGO better, patience is the number one key to making skins. If you don't have any patience, then you'll end up losing all your skins on matches that you wish you never bet on. Another must to becoming a successful CSGO better is to know which teams are performing the best at the certain time. You should also know the tier of the teams that you're about to bet on. Some helpful sites that I use to research teams a HLTV and Gosu Gamers. Starting a betting inventory. The first thing you need to do is decide on how much you are willing to lose. For example, if you're willing to lose $50, then you should buy 10 $5 skins. And if you're willing to lose $10, then you should buy 10 $1 skins. I recommend a site called OP Skins to buy your skins to use for betting. As you can see here, the actual price is $5 and you can get them for even cheaper. Another cool site to check out is CSGO Backpack. This site shows you the prices on Steam compared to CSGO Lounge. This means that you could buy skins for cheaper and they'll be worth more to bet on CSGO Lounge. Organising your betting inventory. Now before you start researching and making bets on CSGO Lounge, there are a few tips that you need to follow. Usually, bettors will split their inventory so they know how much they want to put on a particular team. The percentages that they use as a guideline are as follows. 5% of your inventory will be a low bet, 10% of your inventory will be a medium bet, and 15 to 20 percent of your inventory will be a high bet. Finally, an ICB or inventory cleaner bet is a very small bet of skins that you don't use and are pretty much worthless to you on a team that has a very low percentage. We'll get on to where you use the low, medium, high bets in just a second. Another tip that CSGO bettors go by is to never go all in, no matter what the odds are. As you can see here, in the past, there was a Fnatic versus CLG game, CLG on 5%. Many people had gone all in on this game and they had lost their skins because CLG won on 5%. However, sometimes this can work. A lot of people put skins on CLG just for the chance that they'll beat Fnatic. In this case, it worked. Although I really wouldn't recommend this unless you have a lot of skins to bet with. The final tip whilst organising your betting inventory is to never bet items you aren't willing to lose. This applies mostly to unique items such as very blue AK case hardens and certain patterns on skins that are rare. In case you didn't know, the reason for this is when you bet your item you'll most likely not get the same one that you bet back. Researching a bet. My preferred method of researching bets is Reddit CSGO betting. This is because there are always people with good analysis on here, as well as popular CSGO bettors who post their spreadsheets so you can see how good their success rate is at betting on CSGO. I also use a Facebook page called Fell's Betting Advice. This guy is very good at predicting bets and he has definitely helped me win some good bets over the past few weeks. So a big shout out to him and make sure you go and check out his Facebook page which I will leave in the description of this video along with the other sites I've mentioned. Researching a bet. Whilst researching your bet, there are a few tips that you should take into consideration before making a final judgment on the team that you want to bet on. Tip number one, know the teams. This tip is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know the teams, then you're not gonna know how well they perform on certain maps. Tip number two, map series. Before you place the bet, you should know how many games the team you're about to bet on is going to play. If it is a best of three, the overdog has more chance of winning because they play more maps. Whereas if it's a best of one, the underdog has more chance of winning because one match determines the result. Tip number three, LAN or online. Just if you don't know, a LAN match is when both teams are playing right next to each other. Whereas an online match is of course when both teams are playing each other online. The danger with online matches is that sometimes the lower tier team can get DDoS easier than the higher tier team. Also, some teams generally perform differently whether they're playing LAN or online, so you should always research this before making your bet. Tip number four, know the maps. Every team has their favourite map, so you should always look out for this when they're playing their games. Another idea is to check the team's history on the maps that they're about to play in that game. This will give you a brief idea to how they perform on the maps they're about to play on. Tip number five, performance. Before deciding on a bet, you should always check the current team's performance because, in some cases, 
teams will be on a low, which will mean they're not performing at their best. However, this could also mean that if a team is on a losing streak, they might want to perform a lot better in this match and try harder to win, just so they don't fall too far behind in the tiers. Tip number six, patience. As I said at the start of the video, patience is the key to winning skins. If you think that a bet is too risky, don't bet on it. There will always be matches in the future that you can bet on where the risk is a lot lower. Tip number seven, play the odds. What I mean by this is, if you think that percentage should be different, then take advantage of the odds. Using this bet here as an example, if you think that Sweden should have, say, 40% odds, then take advantage of this and bet a certain amount on Sweden. Tip number eight, trust your gut. This isn't a tip that you should follow for every match you bet on, but I'd just like to say there has been a few bets where I've lost just because I have a feeling that the other team will win. If you have a very strong feeling that the other team will win, then consider going with your gut feeling. Tip number nine, type of fixture. Before betting on a game, you should know what the game is for. Teams will always perform differently depending on what the match is for. For example, if only one team needs to win the match to qualify for getting into a tournament and the other doesn't, then the team that does need to win the match is going to try a lot harder than the team that has already qualified. And finally, tip number 10, CSGO Lounge. You should never check the CSGO Lounge discussion as a place to research for your bets. It's filled with scammers and people that try to change your mind on who to bet on. Please don't do this, you'll lose brain cells. Placing your bet. Once you have conducted your research and you're pretty confident that a team's gonna win, you are now ready to place a bet. Before submitting your bet, you will want to know how much you're gonna be putting on that team. If you have done some good research and you cannot see at all the team you're about to bet on losing, then go ahead and put a high bet. Like we said before, this is usually 15 to 20% of your inventory. However, if the team you're about to bet on you're not too confident about but you think that they might take it, then go ahead and put a medium bet. This is usually 10% of your inventory. You would put a low bet on the team when you don't think they're going to win it or there's a slight chance that they will. You'll usually put this on teams with less than 30% odds because then that is when you'll get the best payout. Finally, an ICB bet is a bet that you'll put on a team where you really don't think they're going to win at all but you're willing to put your bad skins on a team just for the slight chance that you'll get a massive payout. Also, remember to never go all in. If you lose a single bet, don't rage bet. After all, betting on CSGO Lounge is gambling and of course you're going to lose bets now and then. Just don't panic. Soon, you'll earn back what you lost. You will often find that the queues will be full when you come to bet. Instead of spamming the bet button, I found a nice extension for Google Chrome that automatically tries to get you into a queue for betting. This extension is called Lounge Destroyer and as well as automatically putting you into betting queues, it does a lot of other nice stuff that helps you with CSGO Lounge. I'll leave a link to the extension in the description below. You can also create a betting spreadsheet. This is good because it helps you keep track of how many bets you've won lost. It also helps you keep track of how much profit you've made slash lost. So that's pretty much all I've got for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe for future CSGO content. Leave a comment telling me if this has helped you in any way. Also you should share this video with your friends as this could help them too. And finally if I have missed anything out make sure you tell me in the comments. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more CSGO content. Goodbye.